Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thank you for subscribing. My name is Kimani and today we're going to react to Kanye West's interview with Tucker Carlson as it relates to the White Lives Matter t-shirt and then after that we're going to have a brief discussion. I want you guys to put your opinions down in the comment below and let me know your thoughts on this video. So without further ado, let's, let's start watching this and then we talk, okay? Okay. Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. Kanye West, now known as Ye, is one of the best-selling musical artists in the world. He's also in recent years become a celebrated and very highly paid fashion designer. And of course, for a decade, he was well known to TV audiences as an in-law of the Kardashian family. But it's West's latest incarnation as a kind of Christian evangelist that brought us to his office in Los Angeles today for the interview you're about to see. Days ago, during Fashion Week in Paris, West, accompanied by his friend Candace Owens, unveiled a t-shirt that read simply, White Lives Matter. The response from the fashion industry and international media was instantaneous and uniform. Shock, horror, rage. There is no excuse for this. I find it funny how he says that Kanye West is a Christian evangelist, but yet still, he doesn't show the fruits of the spirit, which is love, joy, patience, gentleness, meanness. Like he doesn't, he doesn't manifest any of that. Like, yes, he does gospel concerts. Yes, he professes Christ. But when I see him, when I see his fruits, it's nothing of a Christian, of a true Christian, might I add, because you have many wolves in sheep clothing. But yeah, I digress. So don't call him a Christian and a, a evangelist when he's acting the same way that he acted when he was in the world, making music that was secular, right? I, I see no difference. I don't keep up with Kanye West. Um, I don't keep up with Kanye West a lot. However, um, whenever I do hear news about him and his ex-wife, the fact that he threatened to expose a second sex tape with Kim, the fact that he was harassing Pete Davidson and he was out of control. That is nothing that's Christ-like. That does not represent the image of Christ. That does not represent the image of Christianity. So just because he says, okay, here I'm a Christian and let me do a couple of gospel concerts, that doesn't mean that he's a Christian. He's just somebody that is monetizing off of the Christian faith and someone who is profiting because Kanye West <laughs> Kanye West is an opportunist okay many years ago he came down to Jamaica and he held a concert in Kingston and he saw he first of all he printed t-shirts with our national symbol or coat of arms on it right and then he sold it for double the price which us locals could not afford and he ripped off or he ripped us off, right? He ripped off uh, using our, our symbols or emblems without permission and he profited and he got away with it because um, he is the big bad almighty Kanye West and we're just little Jamaica. So do not call this man a Christian because he's not, all right? I just had to say that. Let's continue. Thundered the New York Times. West is legitimizing extremism, shrieked Rolling Stone, etc., etc. What was strikingly missing from the coverage, however, was any explanation for why West did this. What was the t-shirt about? No one seemed to think to ask him, much less to listen to what he had to say. Instead, the enemies of his ideas dismissed West, as they have for years, as mentally ill. Too crazy to take seriously. Look away! Ignore him! He's a mental patient. There's nothing to see here. But is West... I mean, <laughs> he can't really blame them to question the source and this is why I, I i think i was having a conversation with somebody about this or i was talking to myself i don't remember which one but um for kanye west to come out and dismiss and belittle black lives matter movement it's not going to seem as something that's genuine because of his past actions right this is a man that has consistently seeked attention and he is known as a narcissist and a narcissist loves attention. So when he comes out and says something like white lives matter, we're not looking to listen to him. We're not looking to, um, to believe 
him. We're just looking to see this as just another publicity season to get attention. We are not saying that white lives don't matter. White lives matter. Asian lives matter. Latino, black lives matter. All lives matter. Yes, we understand that. However, the basis that the movement was created on was to say, hey, all lives can't matter until black lives matter. So it was basically like a black lives matter to um, type of connotation that was placed on the movement originally, right? I haven't watched this interview before. This is my first time seeing this, but I am aware of the scandals that have come and surfaced because um, they're allegedly, they're saying that um, the founder and other activists of the Black Lives Matter movement, um, they came out and they didn't came out, they were exposed rather as thieves like they were taking the organization's money they were buying houses they were buying cars they were paying for luxuries while the people in the community who were supposed to benefit they weren't benefiting right needless to say this incident it did not occur after this information was exposed it, it, it occurred before so if the public is unaware of what is going on with the movement that is fraudulent as in the organization that is running the movement is a fraudulent organization and then he comes out him and candace owen who i am understanding that she's not liked by many in the black community if these two come out and say hey white lives matter here's a shirt mocking the movement then it's not going to be well receptive it's not going to be real receptive it's not going to be well received right because at the end of the day these vessels they're not seen as reputable vessels they're just seen as vessels who are used to mocking and belittling black people so obviously when people see this see kanye west putting up a white lives matter t-shirt he's not going to be taken seriously can't blame people for that crazy you can judge for yourself as you watch what we're about to show you. He has his own ideas, we can say that. Creative people tend to. That's why they're artists, not actuaries. His freeform social media posts give the impression of a man channeling his rawest emotions right onto Instagram. The effect can be jarring, and it's often used as ammunition against him in the battle for influence over the minds of America's young people. And that battle is intense. But crazy? That was not our conclusion. In fact, we've rarely heard a man speak so honestly and so movingly about what he believes. But again, you can judge for yourself. Here it is. So you just came from Paris Fashion Week. You just landed, and yeah. the lanyard's still on from it, and there's a photograph on it. What is that? It's a photograph of a baby's ultrasound. Why is that? And that you designed that? Yes. Why? What does that mean? Uh, it just represents life and pro-life. Boy, so you wear it on a badge. What, what kind of response do you get? And, and good, amen, I agree. I don't care about people's responses. I care about the fact that there's more black babies being aborted than born in New York City at this point. That 50% of black death in America is abortion. So I really don't care about people's responses. I perform for an audience of one and that's God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm starting to see why they want to make you be quiet. Um, how? When did you start to feel this way? When did you start to realize this? What? I'm sorry. I, I really I'm felt. Sorry. I started to really feel this need to express myself <laughs> on another. I'm sorry. I, I, no, you know what? I'm not sorry for that thing. I find this funny. Okay, I find it funny. I find it funny because he says that he performs for an audience. What? What did he say? He performs for audience that's God or something like that? Let me go back. About people's response. I perform for an audience of one and that's God. Yes, he performs for an audience for one and that's God, right? As a Christian, I'm a Christian, okay? And as I said before, um, I'm glad that he said performed because at the end of the day, I'm not God, so I cannot know his true intent from his heart. But, needless to say, all I see is just a performance, right? I am not anti-Kanye West, but all I'm seeing is a performance at this point. Um, 
All I'm saying is that somebody capitalizing off of the fact that the organization was doing fraudulent things to use that as attention to push their narrative. Okay? I'm not saying Kanye West is crazy. I'm not saying that he's innocent either. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I can't take anything that he says serious. Because, as I mentioned before, he's not displaying the true fruits of the spirit. Like, you can't be throwing temper tantrums on social media, put it online, and then say that, oh, he's very passionate. Passionate about what? What are you passionate about? I, I don't get it. I'm sorry. I'm starting to see. See, that. not even... <laughs> Tucker's laughing, like, come on. They want to make you be quiet. Um, how, when did you start to feel this way? When did you start to realize this? Another level, when Trump was running for office and I liked him, yes. and every single person in Hollywood, from my ex-wife to my mother-in-law to my manager at that time to you know my my so-called friends slash handlers around me told me like if i said that i like trump that my career would be over that my life would be over uh they said stuff like people get killed for wearing a hat like that they threatened my life they put my life they basically said that i would be killed uh for uh wearing the hat I had a, a, someone call me last night and said anybody wearing a White Lives Matter shirt is going to be green lit and that means that they're going to beat them up if they wear it and I'm like, well, you know, okay, green light me then. <laughs> you know, you know, God builds warriors in a different way. I don't know if it's because of me being a born in Atlanta and growing up on the south side of Chicago that, you know, he made me for such a such a time like this. It's like with David. You know, he tended to the sheep, but while he was out there, he had to fight all kinds of animals. So when it was time for Goliath to come, he thought because he was a sheep herder that he didn't have the skill set to take down Goliath. And the thing that I have is the position. I have my heart. But the number one thing is we have God on our side. And for the people, even if you don't believe in God, God believes in you. So you made reference to the White Lives Matter t-shirt, mm -hmm. which you brought out at Paris Fashion Week. Yeah. Why, why did you do that and what did it mean? You know, I, did, I do certain things from a feeling. I like, I just, I just channeled the energy. It just feels right. It's using a gut instinct, a connection with God, and just brilliance. You know, like as if you ask like Tanya Harding how she did the, the triple flip or the triple spin, yeah. she was in so much practice that when it was time for her to skate in a, in a comp in competitive format, it just happened. Like it happened outside of practice, it happened in the real format. And that's, what hap that's what's happening is God is like preparing us for the real, for the real battles. And we are we are in a battle with the media like the majority of the media has a, a godless agenda and the jokes are not working this whole like oh yeah he's crazy and all these things they don't work because the media has you know they've also watched travesties happen just even specifically to me and just watch it and act like it wasn't happening and they stay quiet about it uh, what if they, so, what if they was, I want to answer the, the white, yeah. I, I feel like someone caught what I was saying, the comparison to Tanya Harden about the, the white lives matter. You know, my dad is an educated um, ex-Black Panther and he put a text to me today, he said white lives matter, ha 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 ha. And I said, I thought the shirt was a funny shirt. I thought the idea of me wearing it was funny. and. I said, Dad, what do you think it was funny? He said, just, just a black man stating the obvious. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, my dad doesn't listen to rap music and he's like super educated. We, we opened up a water distribution center in the Dominican Republic together. I need a, a marker and a cartridge 
people to connect the dots because I'm lost. All right. When was this interview done? This was done four days ago. Today is the 11th. All right. He says that. What? He said that he texted to his father a while as matter. Ha 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 ha. Or some, there was some dialect or dialogue going on between him and his dad about the shirt. Right? He thought it would be funny to wear the shirt. However, there's no context. Like, he posted, so Kanye was posted on social media that Black Lives Matter was a scam. You're welcome. Something like that, right? So, if Black Lives Matter was a scam, going off of his logic, you know, because we already know that there's a scam now going on. But going off of his logic, if Black Lives Matter was a scam, why didn't you mention that to your father that that was the reason why you wore the shirt instead of saying that it was funny? Because the way how I'm perceiving it and interpreting it is that you're putting on a White Lives Matter t-shirt in order to mock the movement. However, up until the recent information that was known to the public, it wasn't clear why you were mocking the movement aside from just getting attention. So the, the thought was good, but the execution was poor in getting your point across. <laughs> it was piss poor. Like, I understand that you and Candice, y'all schemed and were like, okay, let's put up this at the Paris Fashion Week and XYZ Do Re Mi Fa Sol Ti Do. However, the time frames are causing confusion because in one instance, you're like, okay, we wore this because we thought it was funny. But in another instance, you're upset that people are upset about the shirt because people are perceiving you and Candice as attention seekers because there's no context behind wearing the shirt at the time when it was released. And then you're bashing people for thinking that you guys are attention seekers without saying, hey, the reason why we wore the shirt was because the organization was a scam. Y'all should have said that before y'all wore the shirt and not after. <laughs> there would be all this confusion. They're, he's like the original Steve Jobs, but he was getting blocked every which way with all of his ideas and he didn't have uh, an endless bank account and he didn't have an Instagram. So all these ideas, he had to like take them back and compress them. Like my dad is the most brilliant person that I know. And we actually have a strained relationship because I was taken from him because my mom was an actress. So she was a liberal and my dad would see certain things and say, you know, we should do it this way. We should do it that way. And the people got around my mom and pulled her away, much like, you know, Kim is a Christian, but she has people who want her to go to Interview Magazine and put her ass out while she's a 40-something-year-old multi-billionaire with four black children. And this is what, how fashion wants to. The kids aren't black, they're biracial, and Kim wouldn't be a real Christian if she wanted to put her ass out, but that's a whole nother conversation. Uh, how they want to present her. So I know you give these um, you get these questions and I give you like these three part answers. Is this a cool format for you? Yeah, I love it. it. OK, cool. And I am following it. All right. So you said um, that your father said when he saw the shirt, White Lives Matter, it's great to see a black man stating the obvious. So by which I think you meant that's obviously true. Yeah, that my. Why would someone need to state the obvious when we all know that White Lives Matter? Would your father congratulating you saying that hey thanks for put thanks for wearing the shirt you needed to state the obvious we we know we know this even i i'm from a society that is pre that is dominantly black okay you don't have to tell me that white lives matter we 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 are aware that white lives matter okay so you did a <laughs> that's a poor excuse to, 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 to give to, to wear the shirt that's a poor ass excuse just just say hey I wore the shirt because I found out the organization was scamming people's money and I did it to mock people 
don't say that you wore the shirt because you wanted to prove that white lives matter. Everybody knows this. Everybody knows this. Favorite response because I kept on thinking like you know people they're looking for an explanation and people say well as an artist you don't have to give an explanation but as a leader you do yes I think that's right so the answer to why I wrote White Lives Matter on a shirt is because they do it's the obvious thing yeah why why do you think that's so that is confused. This word has a spirit of confusion, okay? He said that the reason why he wrote White Lives Matter on the shirt was because they do. Yes, we know that they do. But that's, you know what? That's not the reason. That's not the reason. What was the reason? This is not the reason, okay? This is not the reason. He even said it in his Instagram post. I'm going to see if I can put it on the screen. White Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter was a scam. You're welcome. So with that being said, he is implicating himself, right? Because if he's saying that the reason why he wrote White Lives Matter on the t-shirt was to prove that white lives do matter, then what was the reason of putting up the post that saying that Black Lives Matter was a scam? We all know that white lives matter, white lives, Asian, black, all races matter. All people matter, regardless of race. We know this. And even before Black Lives Matter movement, no one was questioning if White Lives Matter. Even during the Black Lives Matter movement, no one questioned if White Lives Matter. So who, who said White Lives never mattered? Like... What? Huh? Huh? I think the reason why he wore the shirt was to be in cahoots with Candace to bring up publicity for Candace documentary. The greatest life ever sold. I, I, I believe that was the reason. Because no one said white lives never mattered. White lives do matter. Yes, I agree. But no one said it never mattered. So, what is there police killing white people? Is there black people discriminating against white people? Is there a whole racial injustice and system against white people let me know let me know the white people go through slavery like how black people went through slavery and asian people um had their issues and other races had their issues because of white people did um the indian genocide happen because of white people like we know that white lives matter we didn't need a t-shirt to tell us and, and I assume the implication is, of course, all lives matter because they're lives, because God created them. Yeah. Why do you think that that would be considered controversial? Because the same people that have stripped us of our identity and labeled us as a, as a color have told us what it means to be black and the vernacular that we're supposed to have. My dad grew up as a military brat and his family moved around but they were based mostly in Delaware and at the time if he, if he wasn't if they weren't the only black family they were one of the few and he would be discriminated against because he was black so by the time he got into college he would be discriminated against he went to a black college he but to be discriminated against because they said he talked too white. Yes. And then he played the kick drum in the band. So when he would go to the club and the music was playing, where would he clap his hands? Where the kick drum is. Yeah. So it was the opposite of where everyone else right, exactly. was clapping their hands. <laughs> and uh, this is the most elegant and tasteful person that I know. And... When my mom, when they, when, when the school suggests they're like the herding systems, because what they do is take the, um, the black community and they separate us and they separate the families and the educated, uh, they, they, you know, they push this, you know, need for higher education and us as blacks, we discriminate against each other and say, well, I got my PhD and you don't have your PhD, so I'm better than you. And so my mom, she had a PhD and she was influenced to 
uh, moved to the south side of Chicago and take this job at Chicago State University. And she told my dad, if you come, if you come for us, you know, you'll never see him again. Because, you know, the media ridiculed me for getting the house next door to Kim to see my children. And they even said that I was stalking her and her new boyfriend because I bought the house next door to see my children. And I, that's, that's how I knew that, that, uh, that my mom had said that to him. I said, Dad, you know, they moved us to one of the most dangerous, agreed upon to be one of the most dangerous places in the world. It's almost like they tried to kill me or something. Uh, I said, Dad, why didn't you ever, why'd you never come to get us? And that's when he told me, that's when he told me that she was told that. You know, there's so many things that are put in Kim's head. You know, they bring influencers, like, no one ever knew where Corey Gamble came from. No one in the fashion world knows where Gabby came from. These people were practically made in a laboratory, in my opinion. And one of the things that they're really good at doing is being nice and being likable. And what they do is, for people that have some form of influence, whether it's an educated black woman like my mother that became the head of the English department at Chicago State University, or whether it's the most influential uh, white woman on the planet, being my ex-wife, they have people that are around them at all times telling them what to be afraid of. It's like not what to do or say specifically, it's what to be afraid of. And if you have a person that isn't afraid of them, you know, like a Russell Brand or yeah. Candace Owens. Right. Or, it's not that we have to agree right. no. with this, but they're not afraid. They're not afraid to state what their opinion is. Yes. Everyone, no one is God and everyone has an opinion. So a conversation. What? I'm sorry, pause. Um, did he answer the question? He, he didn't answer the question. He, Tucker asked him, wait, <laughs> all right, I'm lost. As I said, I think after this, I'm gonna need about five brain cells back, right? Tucker asked him the question, I, I believe it was something like, why did you find the need to wear the shirt or what was the purpose of wearing the shirt? He didn't answer the question. He mentioned him, he mentioned being ridiculed, he mentioned Candace and something about Russell Brand or some, something like that. He didn't answer the question. Why did you have the need to wear the shirt? Or why? <sighs> I... like this is a window into a world that you don't see. So if you're familiar with West from the media, you think of him as an individual man. What you don't think about is that he is at the center of a battle and people like him are at the center of a battle to get a message out. Mouthed by the lips of influencers like him and so many others that extends a storyline on behalf of of, well, in this case, the status quo. So there are a lot of people vying to make certain that people like him say the right things. And the consequences for not doing that are very severe. So for him to come out and say all lives matter, obviously, is a huge threat to a lot of people. Who are those people exactly? Well, we asked him and he told us. That's next. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel. Okay. Yes. He asked the question, why do you consider that to be controversial? Right, that all that white lives matter, all lives matter. God created everybody. He didn't answer the question, he did not answer the question at all. He spoke about Kim moving next to her and a bag of stuff. He, 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 he didn't answer the question. And then in the comments, people are saying one of the most, what one of the best, most openly transparent interviews I've seen. I've ever seen. It's like I could feel Kanye's heart with each word. This man is not crazy at all. What? What? What did he say? I'm confused. He he didn't answer. Why would 
the t-shirt be seen as controversial he didn't answer why the teacher apart from just saying that he saw it as funny and that he wearing the t-shirt in wearing the t-shirt he saw it as telling the truth that's something that everybody knew already i mean i don't listen at the end of the day, this is my conclusion. The man wore the shirt to get attention and to promote Candace's documentary on exposing that why that Black Lives Matter is a scam. There is no other explanation for this. Like watching all of this, like I feel as if I lost three brain cells. I am not against Kanye West. I do not know him personally. I personally do not care, right? Because at the end of the day, this man don't know me. I can say whatever I want to say. I'm I'm not accusing him of being a madman. I don't think he's mad. However, do I think that he's a real Christian? No. Because of his actions. The Bible says, you will know them by their fruits. Right? And the actions that he displayed on social media and before all of this, it, it, it hasn't been Christ-like. It hasn't shown someone who has changed. Right? And not because he's with Candace Owen, who is a professed Christian, that doesn't mean that he's a Christian. Right? I don't know what this man is doing behind closed doors. I do not know his heart. I cannot say definitively that yes or no, he's a Christian. He might be a Christian, but might be immature. Who knows? However, that being said, my questions weren't answered in this interview. And I'm, I, I, I'm done with this whole drama. It's stale. It's tiring. My head hurts. I've lost like three brain cells and I'm asking the Lord to give me back those three brain cells. Anyways, um, let me know your thoughts below in the comments. Do you believe Kanye West? Yes, I am not disputing the fact that Black Lives Matter, the organization is a scam. Okay, because of the evidence that came out against them. I am not disputing that. I am not disputing um, that what they did is wrong and that they have hurt millions of black people, not only in America, but also in the black diaspora, the African diaspora. I am not disputing that. But what I'm disputing is his motives. Just the motives. That's well, because... If he had just said, hey, you have found out that organization was a scam and I wanted to put White Lives Matter on the t-shirt in order to mock and ridicule the organization because of the scamminess that they have been doing, that I would have accepted that and move on. But when you're going to say that the only reason why he did it is because it was funny and that um, he wanted to show that White Lives really matter, where we, know, we as a society, we know that White Lives Matter, then I think he's just stupid. Anyways, guys, I've said enough. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.